Okay guys, so here is the problem. This is my old iPhone, this is my new iPhone, but the Apple Watch is still the old one. So I transfer all my files from this iPhone to the new one, and the Apple Watch is still paired to the old one. How do I make the Apple Watch paired to the new one? Well, it's a bit more complicated than it actually may seem, so that's why it needs a video. You cannot just open up the watch app and decide that, yeah, I want to pair and set up my new Apple Watch and stuff, and it's just not going to recognize it. The Apple Watch can only be paired to one iPhone, so before we actually begin with anything, we need to unpair the Apple Watch from the first iPhone. So again, open up the watch app, but on the older iPhone in here, make sure to click on my watches. It's this section at the bottom and then click on all watches at the top. So here it is. This is the only Apple watch. Tap on the eye icon. You can see it's here. And now you can see that unpair Apple watch is right here at the bottom. So you're going to unpair the Apple watch, tap on it once again. You need to type in your Apple ID password. And then you can continue. So as you can see, it is loading up right here. Perhaps it's going to take a while. So yeah, unpairing the iPhone from the Apple Watch or the other way around is currently unpairing and this may take some time. So of course, uh, unpairing means that every single piece of data is going to be removed from the Apple Watch. Uh, this is going to behave as a brand new one. However, the Apple Watch gets automatically backed up to the iPhone that it is paired to. As Apple says, there is no way, no button where you can press to back up the Apple Watch. It just does it automatically. So yeah, I, you don't really need to worry about your data. It is definitely going to be part of the new Apple Watch or the same one paired to new iPhone. So we don't want to lose any of your data. So as you can see, the Apple Watch is uh, showing the Apple logo. It's upside down because I use it uh, that way, but this is like the default position. So this is how it's supposed to be. And here on the iPhone, nothing really shows up. You can see that the Apple Watch is not really here. Okay, so I can put this iPhone aside for now because we don't need it anymore. All we have to do now is to wait for this new iPhone and uh, for the Apple Watch to be ready, the Apple Watch still needs some time, so we definitely need to wait for that. As of right now, we can at least open up the uh, watch app and wait for the setup process. So as you can see right here, you need to bring the iPhone to an Apple Watch. It means that the uh, Apple Watch is ready to be paired. As you can see, the glyph shows iPhone 14 is pro because there's the dynamic island. So I have the correct one. No, but of course it works with any Apple Watch. And if I bring it right like this, it should actually give the pop-up right away. We should get the pop-up right here, like when you open up the AirPods, but for some reason we don't get it, which is not a problem. We can open up the uh, Apple Watch app and set up for myself. It searches for the Apple Watch, which should be around, and it should find this one right here. By the way, this is the Series 5, but it runs the latest watchOS 9.2, and this runs the iOS 16, so there literally shouldn't be any problem with that. So as you can see, you need to press and hold the side button to turn it on. But uh, I, yeah, as you can see, I already have it in the search mode. So uh, I just need to set it up. So click on English, set uh, the region on uh, of the Apple Watch like this. I need to scroll down all the way to the bottom. So let me just click on, I mean, of course, choose whatever country you live in. I chose this one right here. So start pairing. Now I just need to uh, like scan this thing right here so as it turns out i need to wait for my iphone to activate the camera so i can scan the circle once everything is ready but as you can see it's still taking some time so i'm not sure what's really going on okay so it was unable to connect to it now let me start pairing again a setup for myself now we have the camera ring so let me just take a quick uh, let me just like position it correctly. Yes, your Apple Watch is paired now. So there was like a bug or something. And now the important part is restore from backup and set up as new Apple Watch. Like I said, the Apple Watch gets automatically backed up. So restore from backup. And you can see we have all the backups. The latest one is from yesterday. So you can see watch was 9.2. So I can use this one, but uh, also some older ones. So 
naturally I want to use the latest backup so this is going to be the one I'll hit continue and now it's going to take a while as you can see it flipped the orientation of the Apple Watch because I use it this way so it remembers that and you need to click on agree of course to go ahead and continue you need to uh, agree with the terms and conditions it is loading and signing into your account this may take a few minutes no problem there I will definitely leave you some time the Apple Watch because I want to use it with the new iPhone and have all my data there so no problem at all so now we moved on forward so it asked me if I want to share the analytics I don't actually want to do that and now I can set up a passcode I don't want to do that so don't use the passcode and now we just need to wait you can see here in the corner it is loading so it recognized that and now I just can set up uh, anything as I want so uh, I think that I'm gonna continue with that zoom was enabled before some shared settings okay and yes this is my uh, information about me so everything seems to be correct let's hit continue of course all of the stuff i want to keep turned on so let's continue again i'm not taking these medications so let's continue for the safety it tells me about the stuff so yeah i have to go through all of the stuff so always on display yeah i, I like the grid view list view is not something that i like so let's continue with that and now as you can see it's going to fill out the circle so this is the syncing process it just like moves in the information back and forth and it just has to like put it on the apple watch so once the circle fills out then the apple watch is going to be ready so yeah now you just pretty much wait until the uh, apple watch is ready as you can see your apple watch is almost ready and you'll get an alert when it's done so you can use your iphone normally as you would so that means that you can leave it out do whatever you want and the apple watch is going to become available once it does once the syncing becomes uh, done. Yeah, it's about to be ready right now. So as you can see, it's about to be finished. And I'm also going to finish this video right here. Hope this video helped you out. In case it did, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this on the Fox Tech channel. And also check out this one about the Apple Watch because I think that you're definitely going to enjoy it. Thanks a lot. See you there.